balance sheet. So if the profit and loss was a movie, the balance sheet was what? A photograph, right? It captures one moment in time. So the balance sheet, the main thing you need to know about the balance sheet, it has three different things on it. It has assets, liabilities, and equity, right? So does anybody know what an asset is? Property. Property. Any material that you own. Something you own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, something that you can put to good use, right? Something, a tool that you can use to make money with, cash in the bank that's working capital. Um, something valuable that you own. What's a liability? Could be a debt. Mm -hmm. Something you owe. Something you owe to someone, right? And then what's equity? That's right. Like the, the investment that you've made in something. Mm -hmm. Right. Ownership this of an is, entity. Yep. This is the value of your investment. That's great. So, so you see this here? This shows that this is a balance equation. We call this a balance sheet because the balance sheet has two sides. One is the assets and one is the liabilities and equity. And they're always the same. They have to always be exactly the same. Okay? Um, there's a, for those of you who like math, there's an equation. And the equation is assets equal liabilities plus equity. As I'm sure that makes no sense to anybody right now, and it shouldn't, so don't worry. The other equation makes a little bit more sense, and we'll talk through that one. So if assets equals liabilities plus equity, what happens if you take assets and you subtract out liabilities? What are you left with? You're left with equity, okay? So what does that look like in reality? You've taken a snapshot of your business, okay? The snapshot of your business tells you What's, what's in the snapshot? The snapshot tells you what are the things that you own in this business? What are the valuable things that you own? The kinds of valuable things that you own might be cash in the bank, any vehicles or buildings that you own, any machinery that you own, stuff like that. The liabilities are gonna show money that you owe to other people, right? If you took out a loan from the bank, um, if you took out a loan from your mom, that's going to show up there under equity, under liabilities. The thing that this shows you is if your business shut down tomorrow, what would happen? What would happen if you shut down your business is you would take all of your assets. Some of them you would sell. If you had inventory, that's an asset. You would sell the rest of your inventory, take whatever cash you could, and what would you do? Pay back mom, hopefully. Pay back the bank, hopefully. And then, if there's any money left over, that's your equity. So the value of your equity at any given time, that's why it's a snapshot. You want to see at any moment in time, if you liquidated all of your assets, paid off all your liabilities, how much would you have left? And that's the value of your business, right? That's the value of your investment in the business. And that's a number that you want to, you want to keep an eye on. What about... Are, are human resources assets? Um, yes, but not in the sense that you put them on this sheet. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think that there's a way of accounting for that in dollar terms. I mean, what kind? What do you mean by human assets? Well, I mean like the expertise that you have in your group. And right. Mm -hmm. um, you don't usually put that on your financial statement, but that's important to think about. Um, there's also things like intellectual property, yeah. which I shouldn't even mention because I don't even know how to account for it on here. Would those be assets? Um, it would be an asset. I'm not sure how if you'd actually put that on your balance sheet or not. Yeah. So I just want to say I'm that intellectual sure. property is property, so it's right. treated just like a tool or like anything else. Right. You may not be able to sell it, but... Right, and so property. I'm not sure how you value it. So these are all going to turn up in dollar values. And I just, you may be right, it might it might go on the balance sheet, but I just don't know. Is there a way to consider, like, human resources as your assets if you were to consider the hours that people are putting in and, and work? And you could somehow subtract your liabilities from, like, their services and their hours that they're putting in? Hmm. Yeah. Um, sweat equity. Sweat equity. Yeah, is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of the time when you work, 
Your work is considered an expense, right? So let's go to the flowchart here. Um, your business is buying something. What are they buying? The labor of your members or your employees, right? They're paying you for your work. So is it an expense or an investment? What's the definition of an investment? Anybody want to read that? Something durable that you will use over and over again in the course of your work, like a building vehicle tool, computer, or furniture. And then what is, um, what's an expense? Can someone read that one? It's something that will get used up in the course of doing business, like ingredients, materials, rent, utilities, insurance, payments, etc. So that's a good question. What are workers? <laughs> yeah. I think, like I've seen it for nonprofits, they just look to the equal values for both. So they'll, like, volunteer time is valued at $25 an hour, so they'll list it as um, an asset and liability, and then it goes to zero. You know what they list it at? They list it as income. Yeah, and income and that's and then. So if somebody volunteers for your nonprofit, they're in it, if they're giving you $25 worth of their labor, they're making a donation yeah. of their labor, right? Um, and then down here, you make a you make a, a different transaction that says that twenty five dollars worth of work is done, so it cancels out. Yeah, so it balances out as nothing on right. your statement, but then it's still there. And so, like when you're applying for grants or loans, it can make you look stronger, but it doesn't increase right. the net of the end. So one of the things, so the the main way to get really confused in this stuff is when stuff moves from one financial statement to the other, right? Yeah. And this is one way that can happen. So let's say in your cooperative, um, you're working for the first couple of months. You don't have any money to pay yourself. You're putting in sweat equity, right? Your direct, let's say you're doing direct labor, so it's a cost of goods. It should show up here on your profit and loss statement because you're expending, you're expending hours, basically. Hours are considered an expense. You're using them up. Um, but if you're not paying yourself and you're the owner, which is the only time you're allowed to not pay yourself, um, what ends up happening is that you are actually increasing your equity. Okay? You're increasing your equity um, by the amount of that, um, by the amount of that work that you didn't pay yourself for. That's one thing, that's one way that you can account for sweat equity. <coughs> Or you can put it as a loan and pay it later. I mean, it, it depends how you want to use it. You can also put right. it as a personal loan. You can also put a loan in which case it would be a liability. But either way, it's going to be over here. So these are things you own, and these are things you owe. Liabilities are things you owe to other people. Equity is what you owe to yourself. Okay. Let me say that again. Yeah. Assets are what your business owns. Liabilities and equity are what your business owes to people, right? Liabilities you owe to outside people like the bank, your mom. Equity you owe to yourself. That's the value of your business um, that you own. But it shows up as equity because in a way the business owes that to you, in a way. And is yeah. there some, usually some like standardized like form or like sheet that you account like over the course of your business for like who has what equity? There sure is. And we're going to get into that. Okay, that is scary. So, what time is it? 6.30. We're just about ready to do our lemonade stand. I kind of want to do this, and then we'll have dinner. What do you think about that? Lemonade stand. Does that work? Lemonade. Yeah, we're going to do lemonade stand. So, take one and pass around. 